from Angels in America. Maybe you will take Hi. So go ahead and put a disclaimer out there. There is language in this scene. <laughs> and not like language. I mean like language. Language. <laughs> Explicit language. Okay, so this is a presentation we put together for major playwrights. Um, we've taken it a step further than Reader's Theater. Um, by the way, good luck in the final tomorrow. Woo. Uh, so I'm going to hurry this along. Uh, Will and Lizzie are presenting a scene as Pryor and Harper from Angels in America by Tony Kushner. Um, set it up a little bit for you. Pryor is dying of AIDS, and Harper is a drug addict. And what has happened here is Pryor is in a dream, and Harper is in a drug-induced hallucination. But in some way, they've ended up in the same place. So. Angels in America. Ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille. <laughs> One wants to move through life with elegance and grace, blossoming infrequently but with exquisite taste and perfect timing, like a rare bloom, a zebra orchid. One wants, but one so seldom gets what one wants, does one? No, one does not. One gets fucked over. One dies at 30, robbed of decades of majesty. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. I look like a corpse. Corpset? <laughs> oh, my queen, you know you've hit rock bottom when even drag is a drag. <laughs> Are you? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing in my hallucination? I'm not in your hallucination. You're in my dream. You're wearing makeup. So are you. But you are a man. <laughs> <laughs> the hands and feet give it away. <laughs> there must be some mistake here. I don't recognize you. You're not. Are you like? Some sort of imaginary friend. No. Aren't you too old to have imaginary friends? I have emotional problems. I, I took too many pills. Why are you wearing makeup? I was in the process of applying face, trying to make myself feel better. I swapped the new fall color from the Clinique counter at Macy's. So I was out of cash. It was an emotional emergency. <laughs> <laughs> Joe was so angry. I, I promised him no more pills. These pills that you keep alluding to. Valium. I take Valium. Lots of Valium. And you're dancing as fast as you can? I'm not addicted. I don't believe in addiction. I never, well, I never drink and I never take drugs. Well, smell you, Nancy Drew. Except Valium. <laughs> Except Valium in wee this bowl. It's terrible. Mormons are not supposed to be addicted to anything. I'm a Mormon. I'm a homosexual. <laughs> In my church, we don't believe in homosexuals. In my church, we don't believe in Mormons. Oh, I get it. I don't understand this. Imagination can't create anything new, can it? It only recycles bits and pieces from the world and reassembles them into visions. Am I making sense right now? Under the circumstances, yes. So <laughs> when we think we've escaped the unbearable ordinariness and well and truthfulness of our lives, it's really only the same old ordinariness and falseness rearranged in the, year, the appearance of novelty and truth. Nothing unknown is knowable. Don't you think it's depressing? The limitations of the imagination? Yes. It's something you learn after your second theme party. It's all been done before. <laughs> the world, finite, terribly, terribly. Well, this is the most 
depressing hallucination I've ever had. Apologies, I do try to be amusing. Oh, well, don't apologize. I can't expect someone who's really sick to entertain me. How on earth did you know? Oh, that happens. This is the very threshold of revelation sometimes. You can see things. How sick you are. Do you see anything about me? Yes. What? You are amazingly unhappy. <laughs> Big deal. You need a value addict and you figure out that she's unhappy. That doesn't count. <laughs> of course. Something else. Something surprising. Something surprising? Yes. Your husband's a homo. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> well, I, I don't like your revelations. I don't think you intuit well at all. Joe's a very normal man. He... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He... Do homos, like, take lots of long walks? Yes, we do. And stretch pants with lavender quads. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at you and there was this... A sort of blue streak of recognition. Yes. Like you knew me incredibly well? Yes! Yes. I have to go now. Get back. Something just fell apart. God, I... <coughs> I, I'm sorry, I, I usually say fuck the truth, but mostly the truth fucks you. I see something else about you. Oh? Deep inside you, there's a part of you, the most inner part, entirely free of disease. I can see that. Is that... It isn't true. Threshold of revelation. Oh. People come and go so quickly here. <laughs> I don't think there's any uninfected part of me. My heart is pumping polluted blood. I feel dirty. <laughs> <laughs>